so hello and welcome to another tutorial of my php course now in this video i'm going to talk about the booleans a fundamental data type in php used to represent the logical values of true or false now booleans are essential for evaluating conditions and making decisions in php programs so now at the end of this tutorial you will know how you can use the booleans and how they can be used inside the php so without any further ado let's get started now booleans are the fundamental data types in php used to represent the logical values of true or false now in other words a boolean variable can only have one or two values like true or false in other words a boolean variable can only have one of two values true or false to declare a boolean in php you can use the keyword true or false and assign the true or false to a variable so now I'm going to create a variable and I want to say that variable as my boolean and I want to assign the true and now I'm going to create another variable and I want to say another boolean and I want to just assign the false value to it so these are the boolean values this is the value true and this is the value false you can also create a boolean variable by evaluating an expression so how do you evaluate an expression so for evaluating an expression I'm going to create a number and I want to assign the 5 to it and now I want to evaluate this number so I want to say is number equal 5 because I want to just compare this variable to the 5 so I want to just type number equal 5 and now I want to say that like number so this is my number variable and now I want to check for the equality so now we use the double equal to chain for checking the equality this is not the assignment operator this time because we are using the equals to sign twice and now if I type something here like 5 or anything then what it will do it will just compare both of these values and and not assign the value so this is the assignment operator because it is used only once and if you use the equals to sign twice that means you are just comparing these two values on the right on the left on the right side and on the left side this is the operator this is called the equality operator and these two values are called the operands let's just compare those now what it will do it will just return the true value based on the condition if this number is equals to this number then it will return true and if this number that we have here as you can see the value of this number is 5 so we are comparing 5 is equal to 5 yes that's true and if it is not true like if I type the 6 here then it will make it false and now let's just uh, log the value now let me just uh, log the value to the screen so just type is uh, number equal and now let's just refresh the page as you can see it is showing the 1 that means it is returning the true so 1 means true and 0 means false so if it so if it returns the 0 that means it is saying the value is false now if I just type refresh the page as you can see even though the value is 0 and the value is returned false but it will not show the 0 value but you, you get the idea how it works so now whenever it returns the value 1 that means true and whenever it returns the value 0 that means false in case of 0 in case of displaying 0 it, it won't display the 0 here booleans are also commonly used in the conditional statements where we need to evaluate whether an expression is true or false so now let me just show you the example of that as well so I'm going to just cut this all and I want to create the variable with the number and name and now I want to check if now this if is the predefined keyword in JavaScript now if you type this if and then after that you have to just type the condition here in inside the opening and closing parentheses inside this parentheses I'm going to type the condition so now I want to check for that number variable that I have created is equals to I have to just type the equals to sign twice and then I want to say that if it is equals to 5 so what essentially I'm saying is if the number is equals to 5 for typing this syntax you have to first of all type the if and then the opening and closing parentheses and then the opening and closing curly brackets and inside these parentheses you have to type your condition let me type the other condition as well let me type the else condition after typing this else condition you don't need to type the uh, like condition here 
if this condition is false let me explain you let me just type the text here so first of all i'm gonna log the value to the screen like the number is not five and the number is five here i will just log the number is five the number is like five now if the number is equals to five then this block of code will be executed and if it is not if this condition that you are typing here is false then the else block will be executed so here i am checking for the condition if this condition returns true then this block of code that you have here will be executed and you will see the output that you have that you have typed here in the is in this particular block and now after that if suppose if the condition is false if this number that you have specified here is not equal to the number that you have here then it will just execute this uh, else block and it will execute the code that you have typed inside this else block so let's just check it and let's just uh, refresh the page as you can see that means the first block is executed because this condition is true but now let me make it 5 let me make this 6 now what do you think will it output the code inside this block or will it output the code that is inside of this block and now it will output the code that is inside the else block as you can see the number is not 5 because this number here is not 5 that means we are comparing the number here so this number is 6 so you are comparing 6 is equals to 5 and no it is not 6 is not equal to 5 and so it will just ignore this block of code and it will run this code which is the else statement now in addition to the if statement there are many other conditional statements and logical operators that rely on booleans such as the while loops and the and and the or operators so now that's it for this tutorial on booleans in php i hope that you found this tutorial helpful and informative now remember booleans are the crucial part of the php programming and you will be using them in almost every program you write so that's it for this video so now i will see you in the next one